Welcome everybody to TechExpress. Today what we're going to be doing here is to embark into the Crozo journey which is completing a setup of Shopify payments. So let's go through the every method available. First of all, it's access to the Shopify payment settings. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description just in case you don't have an actual website in Shopify. So we can start totally for free and having then later on an actual huge and great deal. So uh, what you want to do is to focus here into settings that are down here. And then what you want to do is to focus inside the actual Shopify payments plan that you should see in here. So now as you should see here, we have different variety for exploring the Shopify offers. For example, we have the PayPal, there's the payment uh, capture method, there's the manual and the payment method customization. So what you want to do here is to focus into the Shopify payments. Uh, how to activate and configure Shopify payments to accept the major credit cards directly into your store. This ensures a small checkout process for your customers, but just in case you don't see the Shopify payments, what you want to do is to do two things. First of all, is to go directly inside the customization applications. And here, what you want to do is going to be selling you, of course, into the App Store. Inside the App Store, what I want to do is to go for Shopify payment. If you don't see or you don't have the Shopify application added here, that means that maybe your actual website is not eligible because you are into a country that is not eligible uh, yet. So you don't have to be discouraged about it because what we can do is to look out for another method that can be helping you to enable payment method, which is exploring the alternative payment method. So let's go and discover how to integrate options, for example, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and much more. Let's go back where we we're actually at, which is the settings section. And here, what you want to do is to go all the way up and go for choose a provider. Now here in the choose a provider, it's going to be showing me the very first preferred third party depending on where I'm currently living. Now here we are into the Latin America, so that means that the best way to, let's say, uh, accept payments and all of that is to go for Stripe. So with that information said, I just clicked into the third party that is uh, preferred by my country. So the configuration is a process that might be taking you a few minutes, but then later on you might be having access to receive the money into your store. You can even add something that almost everybody has, which is the PayPal Express checkout. That's totally once again depending on how you want to get started with. Now you want to enable the buy now and the pay later options. So stay ahead of the curve by enabling the buy button now, pay later. So how to integrate services like Afterpay, Klarna, offering customers the flexibility to make significant boost conversions and customer satisfaction is by going directly inside your online store. Inside your online store, what you want to do is to go into customize and just make sure that the amps up and beams of your applications are enabled here. So if I focus into my specific product, let's say for example this one, I should see here that I have the buy buttons. So here I want to make sure that I have enabled the show dynamic checkout buttons and show the recipe information form uh, for the gift cards. So both of them are actually in my case enabled, so that means that we're actually good to go. And scrolling down, you should see here into my footer that I needed to make sure that I wanted to enable the show payment icons so they can see what are the actual payments that we accept into our store. Lastly, you wanted to consider manual payment methods if none of this actually works at you. Let's go for settings, let's go for payments and go all our way down for manual payment method. If I click here, you can go and add a created custom payment method, a bank deposit, money order or cash on delivery. I can explain this a little bit more. Let's say for example that I choose custom payment method. And here let's say for example this one is being called, I don't know, maybe additional details. Here what you wanted to do is to display to the customers when they're choosing a payment method. So here let's say for example this is because blah 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 blah. Payment instructions, uh, instruction number one, make the payment. Number two, send the confirmation code. Number three, uh, I save you or send you the order number or whatever. So all of this information is going to be added and then keep now into activate and of course going to be added automatically. So you have now the payment method customization enabled. This is just for people who have a little bit of uh, controversy when it's about only cashing on delivery or bank transfers. So uh, this option is going to be helping accommodate different customer needs, of course. But this is how, of course, um, we can optimize our payment setup for promoting a specific payment methods to leverage discounts. 
So uh, that would be actually it, guys. Lastly, what we can do that we are here inside, now we're here into the settings section, you can always go into the gift cards. And here into the gift cards, what you can do is to enable your own gift cards and let's say create discounts and all of that. You can do all of this directly inside your specific section where it says uh, discounts and go for creating a discount. Well, that could be from an amount product, buying something and get another thing, amount offer or free shipping. So we have a whole tutorial for this specific section into our channel. So guys, there you have it, the complete Shopify payment setup with all methods inside of 2024. If you find this guide helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more Shopify insights, hit that notification bell, hopefully this was very useful for you guys, so hit that notification bell once again, thank you for joining us today, and here to seamless transactions to your Shopify store, hopefully guys, we can all see you next time.